I am here with my passion planner to do set up for the first week in June um, and to share what I'm doing with my passion planner in June um, I'm going to attempt to do something a bit different I went all out um, on a what's new Wednesday of the week and got pretty much most of this collection from Ellie Beth Science UK this is the sea is calling collection and I have I've quite a few sheets so I'm just going to show them with, to you to start off with so I've got the weekly core sheet this is the standard one because you can now get an A5 one as well um, I got the designer full boxes mixed event labels um, the half boxes the day-to-day -day labels which is all your meals and everything else um, the washi sheet the days and dates this is all of the washi strips off the sides of the sheet. And then this is the remnants of the monthly sheets, the monthly skeleton, notes page two, and monthly extras. So you can see I've got a lot of stickers. So I'm going to see if I can make this collection last the entire month in June in my Passion Planner. Um, not something I've done before. I tend to do every week completely different. But I thought I'd challenge myself. So... There is a video being uploaded separately showing you a bit of my June calendar setup. This is my June spread. Um, I didn't do the um, reflection pages in it. I still need to do those. We'll see how we get on. I might do them today. Who knows? But we are going to go for the first full week in June and we're going to see how we get on. Um, I have got my tool pot, which is rather full today um i'll take my ruler out i couldn't quite decide what i wanted to use um so i have a whole variety of colors that i could use um as well as my standard black pens and everything else so yeah we'll get started and we'll see how we get on so i think i think i'm gonna go more pink for the first week more pink yeah yeah, I'm going to go more pink for the first week um, because it's not my normal thing, but we'll go for it. So it's more of a corally, coral y pink, this one. Now, these, I think there's a slight difference in printing between this um, Passion Planner and the academic ones that came before it because these used to fit really nicely along the top and now they don't. And these haven't changed size, so obviously something's changed here. So. Whereas before I would used to line them up, you can kind of see they stick out the top now. So what I've started doing, and this is the bit that pains me a little bit, is covering up the daily focus box. Now, because I'm not work, um, my day doesn't start quite so early, so I can still fit um, my daily focus in underneath. So that's how I've overcome that. And I think what I may end up doing is just drawing around these in pen at some point to make them stand out a little bit more, perhaps. We'll see. Um, so, yeah. So, this is this has partly become an idea because I just had so many of these stickers and was like, I love it. And it's calming and peaceful. And yes, there's a bit of pink in it, but that works because of all the teals and blues that I really like so that's where that came from you know I could have mixed and matched oh well we'll go we'll just go with it we'll just go with it. it'll be fine I think as well for this week I'm gonna do um, a non timeline spread there's not a huge amount going on uh, there's a few bits happening but I think yeah, we're just not going to worry about it. So that's days and dates off there. Um, I'm not going to use these because I tend to use these more with these. And they're quite handy having spare ones. Um, so I just write in on these. Um, let's go for some washi. And we'll come back to all of these stickers in a moment. Where's the washi? Where's it gone? There's that one. There it is. There it is. This is the only problem with having so many sheets of stickers is you can quite quickly lose plot of where you are. Um, so I think I'm going to use these. So this bit here, this is actually two strips which is off the 
weekly call sheet on a lot of the collections it's slightly different to the other strips and I just take them off and put them on old rainbow sheets because then I can punch them and not punch the washi that's the word and I have started just not worrying about the rainbow washi because then it just strengthens that page a little bit so before I was taking the rainbow strips off as well and actually it just means they last a little bit longer which is quite handy really when you're using all of these things so we'll go we're gonna go across there we're gonna do some serious trimming I think in a moment this is where, as I've said in previous videos, I am quite happy to hack stickers up, for want of a better description, to make them work for what I want them to do. And I love using Erin Condren rulers. I had a real panic earlier because I couldn't find what I had done with my ruler. Um, if you watched my last Plan With Me video from the previous week, you will know that at the moment I am working on cleaning up my office space and making it a bit more of a, like, me zone. Um, so I've got somewhere nice to spend my evenings when my husband is playing on the PlayStation in the living room. Um, which I don't begrudge him, he's been at work all day, that's fine. Um, but I do need a bit of a space for me as well. So this week has been all about sorting out the office, but in doing that, it's at that stage of everything has got worse before it gets better, um, where you've stripped everything out and can't find anything. So there we go. It's also been made more fun by the fact that it's the school holidays, so they are, of course, doing roadworks outside our house, and then someone else is doing renovation works in their house, so wherever you are, there's a the sound of building work, which is driving me mad. Right, so... I'm going to go for the non-timelines, sorry, brain moment there. So, and I want to go slightly more pinky, don't I? So I'm going to take out all my pinkier pens to start off with. Oh, that's a lot of pink. Um, <laughs> I might have pale blue. Let's stick that one in just for a little bit more and then I might just go for some a touch of yellow as well yeah 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 okay <laughs> and a touch screen because why not so that's all the pens that I want for the moment so let's just start building up the structure of the week so the first thing I normally do is do um, one of these over here that is quite pale go yellow let's go let's just let's just go all out pink let's just go all out pink why not um i might just grab my little friend though because that is quite it's quite pale kit and this does kind of come through kit collection i know what i mean so if you've not watched my videos before um you won't know that this is where I put my focus of the week, so I do three things I want to focus on which come from my weekly review and I use the monthly review pages on a weekly basis to do that. Okay, I'm going to go for the shelves across here. And I do use this as the good things that happened and I try to do something every single day. Um, so I don't need to cover it up and I don't need to cover that up but it just keeps it a little bit more in keeping with everything else really. So that's that. And then we do a checklist. We're going all out pink checklist down here as well and I love the fact that these have seven on I think it took me about two months to realize the checklist have seven stars which is really quite handy so I'm gonna flip back 
a couple of weeks to the last time I did spread a bit like this, um, which is using the, oh, a season four things collection. I just wanted to remind myself of what I did. So I think I'm going to do today's focus. I'm going to do focus today, tasks. Not sure about the meal plan. I could include that in another way. Okay, so I'm going to go with the blue at the top just for a tiny bit of something else. Um, because there is such a thing as too much pink. Pink is definitely not my comfort zone, I think is the phrase. But it does work when you chuck other things into the mix. So I think that's one of them. So that's gonna be my focus. I'm going to go for today. Now, or should I keep that as tasks? Just thinking through things in my head at the moment. Um, if I did tasks first, that gives me more space for today, and then I could build in. Um, meal planning and hydration tracking and things like that as well. Let's do that way around. Okay. I'm going to draw boxes. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go for seven. I'm just going to outline these and then I'm probably going to go back and shade them in afterwards because I don't think you need to worry about things like that. adds a little something so it's not all of the pink there we go and then I do want to finish with my positives at the bottom uh, what did I leave last time One, two, three, four, five. Five. let's do that I never thought that this particular colour was like neon y highlightery, but actually, when you put it next to some paler colours, it really does seem quite bright. Okay, so that is the very basic structure. So, we're now going to go to get things like these and this and these and then my lovely sticker rate binders for all of the functional stuff so let's start with some meal plan stickers and i do i really like these i think they're quite cute um i've not really used this sheet until recently and sophie who's also on the design team um she got them and started using them and I was like, actually, they're quite nice. Um, so we'll go with them. Although that feels really quite dominant. Maybe I should put them down here. No, we're going for it. We're sticking with it. We're going to do it. I might just put my hydration stickers down here so I've got a bit more space. That's all I'm thinking. Um... So there's these. Sorry, focusing too much on stickering. There we go. There's those. Right now, other things. So I do at present have the car so I'm going to put that in there food shopping is normally done on a Saturday however there's lots of things going on so may do it Friday so we don't run out of things um 
Right, Thursday. Fingers crossed, I'm going to have my nails done. Now I'm going to put a bigger sticker because then I can stick a penguin joe in. Because we always like putting a penguin joe in. There we go. And then hubby is off on Saturday to watch some of the Cricket World Cup. And I am probably off, I'm going to use a different sticker for that, and then, yeah, doing that thing where I talk stuff through in my head. So, I'm going to go to my binder and pull out these lovely stickers. Um, so, Monday is guides. I am going to go this week. Decided. I'm still kind of not 100% back, but I did enjoy going the other week. I was really proud that I went when I kind of felt like I wouldn't. And then at the weekend, this is where I want a bit of washi. What washi do I want though? Do I want some of that? Do I want some of that? I don't know. Or thin sheets off of the monthly thin strips off the monthly. And I can find it. Oh my word. As I said, when you have so many sheets of stickers, it's really hard to find what you want when you want it. There we go. So, this weekend is an anniversary camp for the Sago Club that I started at university. So SAGO stands for the Student Scout and Guide Organisation and I started the club at my uni 10 years ago which makes me feel quite old but I am, a lot of my friends from that time aren't going and I do know a lot of people that will be there but I don't want to go for the whole weekend, so I'm probably going to go for the day. I kind of feel like I have to. I started the club, so for an anniversary, it kind of feels like I should be there. Um, other things, other things. I don't know that there are other things. No, I do not believe so. Right, let's start filling some stuff in. So I'm actually going to go four numbers in a coordinating colour this time. I don't always do that. Quite often don't actually. Six, seven, eight, nine. I'm still getting a wobble. I've, I've got to work out what I've got to do to fix that wobble. I just can't seem to make it work. Um, then we're going to go for, what we're going to do next? We'll do some headers. So we're going to have focus, tasks, and today, that's what I said, wasn't it? Squeaky chair time. So that is guides, normal time, um, Tuesday, I don't have a session next Tuesday. I was thinking there's normally something on a Tuesday. Um, we're having a week off, which is actually quite nice because I really struggled with last week's session. It wasn't done in the way that works for the way my head works. Um, so I've kind of I've gone away and I'm doing extra research and things just to try and get my head around it all. Um, and it has just made me think. Oh, I've got too many sheets of stickers. I'm going to have to put it all in the binder next week. I think I'm going to have a binder set up ready. Um, Tuesday is hubby's game night, so I'm going to put that in there because I do like to remember things. Um, and I love these stickers just for marking what he does because I can just put his initial and then do that. We do have the same first initial, but if it applies to me, I just put B because I was always known as Bob growing up so that works right 
today focus tasks and that is um, when I will do my plan with me um, nails wasn't it I'm a fine penguin Joe Friday, I said I was going to do food shopping, wasn't I? And I am putting it on there even though I know I've got the sticker because that's just how I work. I'll put it on there like when I plan to go and where, which will work for me. Um, Saturday, who knows? Now, I if I don't fill up the task space, it's not so bad. I can kind of get over that. Because there won't be much that needs doing on Saturday if we're both out for the day. So, who is at the cricket? Um, other things that need doing next week. There's other things that need doing. And I can't think what they are. Right. We'll get there. So that is the anniversary camp. I have got the car, so we'll go out and we'll go out like the 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 words just failing. So if we're doing food shopping on Friday, that means I'll probably have to do the meal planning on Thursday instead of Friday, um, which will confuse my shopping list greatly. Um, I have spread set up in the monthly section of my bullet journal where I have the days of the week starting from a Saturday to a Friday because we normally do food shopping on a Saturday which has just made me think we're away for nearly every weekend in June why have I done that anyway um we'll get past it it will be fine now oh I want to cover this up I don't want to cover it up with do I want to cover it up with a nice big full box or we could go for a beach hut. I really like the beach huts in this collection. Right. I'm going to go for the, that one. And I think I am going to go full on white out. Because I don't necessarily want to see any hint of writing. Under oh, this is failing. Is this, the dodgy, this is the dodgy one. I got new ones and... I just can't seem to get it to behave. You know what I mean? There we go. It it will do. I'm covering it with a sticker. It doesn't need to be perfect. There we go. I like that. There we go. Um, so let's just talk through the week again. Just check what else I might need to put in. Um, that's there, that's there. So cleaning days at the moment are around here. Washing, ironing day needs it's usually around there. Ironing Penguin Joes, now that would be good, wouldn't it? Oh, it would. Right, um, back to my binders. I think I'm gonna put in some hydration if I can along the bottom. In appropriate colours, if I can find. Apparently, I have no pinks or hardly any pinks. Never mind. We'll just have to go blues. We'll have to go blues. Um, use them up. Although that's still not enough. Never mind. I will. I will get back into the habit of doing this eventually. So I could run them along the bottom, but I think I'm just going to stack them from this end here. And we're just going to block colour. And I have a lot of hydration stickers and I am trying to use them. Oh, oh, pause, pause. I have just remembered my What's New Wednesday order arrived. The current one where Rachel has done something that I requested a while ago on the sticker suggestion sheet. So, she's in these. Ah, 
Now these are amazing because I can use these, you can use these in a Sunday start or a Monday start planner because there are no days of the week on them so they stack really nicely and yeah I'm just excited to have them because I do find the individual stickers sometimes a little bit challenging to fit in and it doesn't quite fit with the car there as well never mind but we will stick it over here there we go oh I knew there was something I hadn't got out so I've got my food, my hydration, the events that are going on, tasks, face my weekly focus. I think I'm going to leave it there. I know I haven't done this section and that's partly because I'm still playing around with what I want to do with it for June. Um, not 100% certain. There'll probably be pictures on Instagram, let's face it, of what I end up doing with it. Um, and I will share with you how this week's gone in my next plan with me video so that is week one in my passion planner using the c is calling collection from a better Sun uk um as i said i'm going to try and use this every single week in june in my passion planner and have a whole month of june in this lovely pastely calming collection um yeah we'll see how it goes i will leave below the link to the shop where you can purchase all of these stickers and many many more um and i'll also leave my affiliate code as well i will leave my instagram so you can see things that are going on i've been sharing a lot of my bullet journal on there lately um and also the ellie beth signs instagram so that you can see some of the other things that people get up to in their planners using some of the stickers and other things so I will leave there for now guys and um, we'll be back next week and in the meantime, happy planning!